In just 10 seconds, Muntader Al Zaidi's footwear became a new footnote in history. He's won global attention, but it seems he's paid a high price. The Iraqi journalist was apparently beaten when he was being detained, and it's alleged he was tortured in prison. His brother claimed Al Zaidi suffered a broken arm, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. And that claims also had political backing. Assaults on Al Zaidi, as well as physical and psychological torture, are unacceptable. This case should be dealt with under the Iraqi constitution. Al Zaidi's case was handed to the Iraqi court. He pleaded guilty at the preliminary hearings. But the Iraqi trial has raised even more questions. The court says he faces up to seven years in prison for insulting a foreign leader and the Iraqi prime minister. But some said that this term goes beyond the limits of the law. We're against a seven-year term for Muntander al-Zaidi. Iraqi law sets two years in prison for such cases of insult. Iraqi students reacted to the incident by holding rallies protesting against al-Zaidi's detention, and the episode has spread to the Internet community. The web has been flooded with mini-games featuring the now infamous footwear attack. Many Iraqis believe Al Zaidi is a hero for insulting the American president, who is widely blamed for the bloodshed and chaos of the U.S. invasion in 2003. <laughs> Hitting someone with a shoe is considered the supreme insult in Iraq. It means that person insulted is even lower than shoes standing on dirty ground. In November this year, a huge crowd of Iraqis opposing the security agreement threw their shoes at a dummy of Bush. Who'd have thought it would happen for real? Andrei Kiyashko, RT.